Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts aren't an agency watch list. But we managed to dig up more of them. We could wiretap the entire city. All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, boys. Welcome back to another episode. Oh, I was like, why can't I move? Welcome back to another episode of Mafia 3 Let's Play. As usual. I know by the time you guys see this video, it's gonna be like in sequence, but I wasn't able to record for the longest time. I was uh, super busy with work. But I'm back now. So I'm back to recording. Dude, how do I turn this music off? I know there's like some down here, I won't get it now. I'll get them later. <clears throat> Watch out, he's got a gun. Getting down low. Damn Come on man, beat his ass. Oh shit, run. I need to heal myself. Alright, I should be able to get his ass from here now. Let's see. Hit him from the other side. Oh man. What's four finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. I'm gonna recruit him, guys. Here on out, I call the shots. All right. I'm gonna pick this one up. Where is it? Hold on. I can't see it. Is it up? Yeah, I'll find that off camera, guys. I, I, I'm just gonna take my car and get out of here. I don't have the patience to look for that right now. Wait, it was right next to my car. <laughs> Got me messed up. Alright. As usual, guys, most of the rides gonna be skip, alright? I don't know which approach to go with here, guys. Do I want to go stealthy? Let me try. That ain't gonna work. Gonna come. Oh, 
Alright, come here. <clears throat> I'm gonna take him down. And uh, I will see if I can take those two up there down. Hopefully I can. I feel like Stuffy is almost like much more easier, you know? It's, it's, it's like more realistic too. You know? I don't know. I'm just saying. So enter through the bag, get some ammo. Which gun am I? Right, I'm using the same gun so I don't have to uh, take that one. We got some. First aid kit. Some money. I think we got some money up. I'm gonna go get that. Mm. Who the hell just leave money laying on roof? Like, bro, what? How does that make any sense? I want to go stealthy, but I also want to just do this right here, right now. I hear them, but I can see them. Right there, right there. That was a hit. Come on, come on out. Is he still up there? I don't know. I think I, I think I killed him. He is still there. All right, one more. Last ammo, let's make it count. He's not dead. So we're gonna go down there and fuck him up. I think he's the last one, guys. Oh, he got money. I'm gonna go get all the money. And then I'll come free the crying girl. Alright, that's the other one. Some money on this house on the outside of this wall. Okay, it's on the inside. Come on, boys.
I'm 100% getting. How do I turn this music off? Come on. I just want to get out of here as, as fast as I can. I got everything. No? Is that a radio? I think it's on the ceiling. Something like that. Let me get some ammo. More ammo. One more somewhere here, right here. Where the hell is Charlie at? Uh, I don't even know how I'm gonna get up, up the roof. Oh, there's a ladder right here. Climb the ladder. It's like a med kit. I'm full on it. All right, let's go. Let's go fuck Charlie up. I think we got enough, boys. We got enough. And I think we did our record time. Look like. I don't remember doing that mission like my uh my last few let's play and stuff like that. I don't remember doing that one. Oh guys, thank you for two thousand uh two thousand five hundred subscribers. I didn't expect to get that that fast. Is it two thousand five? No, I think it's two thousand three hundred, but. Regardless, regardless, thank you guys. Why would you do that to me, bro? Come on, come on, get in, get in, get in, let's get out of here. Oh shit, a cop's in front of me. I messed up, boys. Oh, he don't know it's me. Sweet, sweet, he didn't know it was me. That means we can lose them. Sweet. If, um... If some of the boys cut out and shit, it's uh it's because I cut out the Ryan and didn't have enough time. So let you guys know. Alright. Just giving you a heads up. Look out. Please watch where you're going. You heard from mama. This is the last dead. time I'm doing this. Swear on my mother. So sorry about that. She ain't. Call this one. See if he comes here. Do not fucking move. Hey, bro. How about you slip me some favor? Cash. Alright, he's gonna come. He's coming out. Get your fucking dime, stuff. 
Come on, man. Oh shit! I called three. Who's coming next? All right, he he's coming. He's coming. I was about to say. I best head in, though. Do not fucking move. What did they notice that? They didn't notice. Which means I can, uh, I can call him in. Huh? Hell was that? And his body's somewhere here, though. You he might see the, you might see the dead body. Stay in line. They don't bother me. What? Talk to me, buddy. Get back here. All right, dude. That's the last one I could uh, call in close. I ain't want no gun, but I 100% do want to destroy this though. Come on. Give me some of that field bush shit. Uh, you know how this works. Do not you fucking play. move. Buy yourself something nice. All right, guys. I think I think that's all we have to do here. What? I let. I left my car on the other side, which means I'm gonna take someone else's car. Merry Christmas. You're the lucky winner. Alright, we're gonna go talk to Donovan now. Sure. I don't I don't I don't see this any left. Charlie. And he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now it's between Bo Cephas and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. All right, boys. I think this is the real task. Let's see, let's see, how, let's see how fast we can do this one, you know? Seem to have taken out the other ones pretty fairly easy. <clears throat> I think I can do this fast too. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm not sure. I think I can. I told Richie not to put Charlie in charge of that heroin, but... Huh? This is a bad idea, boys. Because they're both staring straight at me. Okay, he turned around. Okay. Please tell me this is going to work out well. Fuck, he saw me. Come on, boy. I 
I know there was two of y'all. What's the other one at? Oh, he's back there. I gotta go. I gotta go take him out as fast as I can so he don't snitch. Stay down, boy. Any last words, asshole? He's taking us down. He got me jammed. Lucky. Goober. That was easy, guys. That was too easy. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. All right, boys. That was easy enough. Secure everything. You know. I'm gonna give this to Cassandra. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Ah, I forgot to change my gun. Oh, that's fine, though. I'm more of a pistol user anyways. Alright guys, if you like the video, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. I'm going to end the video after the next cutscene. Peace out. Please state your name for the record. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969. Is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos. I was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.